guess what day it is? Yep, it is time to clean this hot mess. My freezer is well overdue for a good cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. So let's get started. First, look at who we find here. It's Gizmo. Hi, Gizmo. Of course, he is going to join us. For the longest, I have been putting off organizing and decluttering my freezer because there is just so much stuff. And because of this, we can't close and open it properly. So I am going to take my own advice and work in sections. There is three sections in my freezer. There's a top section and a bottom section. The bottom section is broken down to two. So I am focusing on one of the two from the bottom sections first. While cleaning everything out of my freezer, I came to a root cause, and that is the fact that there is so much of the same product opened, and then it gets lost in the freezer, so I buy more of that same product. Therefore, I'm just buying more and more of the same product. It's all accumulating, when little did I know, if I just clean out and look to the bottom of the freezer, I would find that same product. So what I am going to do is I'm going to condense everything into Ziploc bags. Of course, freezer ones. If you're working with a small freezer, the trick would be to remove as much air as possible. Maybe look into investing into that machine that sucks the air out of the Ziploc bags. I almost wanted to buy one, but they're like almost $200 and I don't want to spend that type of money right now so good old ziplocs work just squeeze them really really tight all right so far it is looking really good so let's continue on Another purpose for the Ziploc bags is because a lot of the original packaging has a lot of air in the original packaging and this causes for too much space to be taken in the freezer. So the Ziploc bags just work perfectly and it condenses everything. These two broccoli bags are fully loaded. There is not a lot of air in there, but I am going to see if a lot more will fit in the Ziploc bags or if it was just better off to keep it in the original packaging. And the trophy to the most spacious bag goes to, drum roll please, of course the original packaging. As you can see here, I am transferring some of the broccoli into another Ziploc bag because the Ziploc bags are just not big enough. So I am going to maintain them in the Ziploc bags just because I do like that uniform color in my freezer. But if you are looking to make more space in your freezer, then the original packaging would make more sense because here I am having to use three Ziploc bags, whereas original packaging is just two. Hey, that is where my Beyond Steak went. I haven't seen that in a long time. And that is because I can finally see the bottom of my fridge. Mm -hmm. 
My technique to get out as much air as possible is to first close it and then squeeze it, open up a little bit of the bag, then squeeze the air out through that hole and then close it. It gets out as much air as I can. Of course, we all have our own methods and I would most certainly love to hear yours. Leave it down in the comments below. I am always looking for ways to learn from other people I know we all have different ways of doing things. My way is not the right way and it is not the best way, but it is the way I have been doing it. And I most definitely want to grow and learn from a lot of you beautiful, intelligent souls. I am using a wet rag to get all of the little crumbs Now it's time for Scrub Mommy to do her thing. I gave her some downy dish soap to make sure that everything is nice and clean. I don't really have a set plan as to how I wanted my food to go back into this fridge. All I knew is that I wanted to use Ziploc bags, but as far as the structure and where I'm going to place everything, I did not have a plan. So I left this clips here of me playing around with the layout. So if you also find yourself that you just don't know how you're going to make your freezer any space look aesthetic so you don't even try to organize it or clean it just get started and play around with it you don't have to plan in advance just go ahead and get things moving that's all that counts trust me it will all fall into place Here's a quick tip, don't forget to label your bags, add the temperature, and add the estimated cook time. This ensures that you're, of course, cooking the food that you want to cook, and two, that you're cooking it properly. This is the perfect time for a subscriber of the week shout out. This beautiful soul was the first one to comment on one of my YouTube videos. Mars, I am tagging your name right here. And thank you so much for being the first one to comment on my video. It meant so much to have someone watch my full video and then comment afterwards. It was a simple good job, but I felt seen. I felt like what I was doing, somebody was not only watching it, but willing to let me know that you see me. So again, thank you, Mars. And of course, I am grateful for each and every one of you. This channel just hit 100 subscribers. I am so grateful for each and every one of you, like I said already. When I first made this channel, one, I did not expect it to be a lifestyle, cleaning, decluttering, organizing channel. And two, I did not expect to get 100 subscribers. Like, I honestly just, I don't know, this is just mind-blowing to me. And I am so grateful for each and every one of you. The fact that there is a community of people out there who love cleaning, decluttering, organizing lifestyle videos. And... I have found some of you, I am so grateful for having found you guys. I feel so blessed. So thank you so much, each and every one of you. 
with all this being said let's continue on cleaning and organizing my freezer So I have recently been buying this super fruit, I believe it's dragon fruit, I'm not 100% sure, but look at the color of this, it's so vibrant. This is how you know you're overfilling your freezer again <laughs> when in the process of trying to clean it out it snaps and apparently a wheel fell off so I simply put it back on and we're back on the road. So I know a lot of the raw meat is being left in its original packaging. I would recommend that as soon as you come back from the grocery store, when the meat is not frozen, to transfer it to the Ziploc bag. I did not do it immediately, so since it's frozen and it's raw meat, it's gross, I didn't want to transfer it, so I left it in its original packaging, but for now on, once I go to the store and I buy raw meat, I will immediately transfer it to prevent me from having to transfer it later. Are you ready for the big reveal? Of course, we need a good before. Yep, this was the hot mess that I was working with. It's totally giving, I don't care, just give me my food, I want to get out of here, I don't have time for you. Now let's look at the after. Look at how neat. I see the meats. I see the veggies, I see onion rings, I can see where things are placed. I see fruit, cheese, ice packs, tortillas. I can just see everything laid out and in what section everything is. Fruits are right here, ice cream, dessert is right here. Nothing is confusing about this. It's organized, this works perfect. I am so happy with the end results. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Until next time, much blessings to you and your family. This is just a quick update. I have bought an aesthetic egg holder. It is so cute, so aesthetic. And also, I have a couple more cute bins for my fridge. And I am stocking it up right now. I am just showing you guys to remind you that you don't have to have all these beautiful bins to organize immediately. Just work with what you have and that is what I'm doing here. And in the future, you will keep uh, getting one by one. And before you know it, you will have your whole household looking like a Pinterest home. <laughs>